guys and welcome to another video with Destination Discovery. My name is Matthew Smith. So in this trip you'll be seeing my awesome day trip uh, by Fitzbus coach from the heart of central London, Victoria, all the way to France, Paris, Bercy bus station. The Fitzbus in, in itself was a nine hour journey, including a one and a half hour ferry crossing the P&O ferries. Um, I, down below now you'll see uh, the route map, uh, which is the route that we'll be taking from London to Paris. Uh, you'll see it's quite a distance, it took nine hours in the end, and like I said before, but yeah, down below you'll see that now, um, so you can have a good look at um, the route that I'll be taking to Paris. Anyhow, um, it was a good day trip in the end when I get to Paris, uh, after again stuck in several accidents uh, in France, but when I get to Paris, uh, I'll be going across the heart of Paris by Metro uh, to the main airport, Charles de Gaulle. From Charles de Gaulle, I'll be getting a flight back to the UK, London, Gatwick. Um, so you'll be seeing that as well at the very end of this video. Um, but yeah, first, um, before I share some facts about Paris, hopefully something that you may not know of before, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, share my channel. Um, statistics show that 97%, that's 97% of you guys at home, I watch my videos, but don't subscribe to them. It's very important uh, for YouTube's algorithms and what have you um, that you all like, subscribe, and share, uh, so it gets shown to more viewers and more travellers like yourselves. And so please do hit them buttons now. Um, anyway, I'll now leave you with my uh, facts about Paris. Hopefully, some of them you may not have heard of before, and I'll get back to you at the end uh, with some cost details. I'll see you then. Bye for now. Let's get started shall we, let's hear some facts about this fascinating city. Paris is the capital of France and is a major European city along with a major global centre for art, fashion, gastronomy and culture. The Eiffel Tower was only supposed to be a temporary installation planned to stand for 20 years after being built for the 1889 World Fair. Today it is the symbol of the city and one of the most recognisable structures in France. Visitors to the Eiffel Tower have to climb a ripping 1665 steps to reach the top unless of course they opt for the elevator. It is illegal to publish pictures of the Eiffel Tower at night, however snapping at night for personal use is totally fine. If you are wanting to snap and share the tower at night for commercial use, it is prohibited under French law called Freedom Panorama. There are at least three replicas of the Statue of Liberty in Paris. The most famous of them stands on an island in the middle of the River Seine and looks towards her sister statue in New York. The Louvre is the world's most popular museum, so if you're hoping to see the Mona Lisa, you are definitely not alone. The Louvre hosts 9 million visitors every year. Paris is the greenest city in France. There are half a million trees just in Paris. For anyone likely to be on the move all the time, Paris is the place to be. One of the more curious things you may notice though is the lack of stop signs. Paris has none, that's right, zero stop signs in the whole of the city. According to city traffic laws, cars on the right side always have right of way at intersections. There are 37 bridges connecting the two sides of the city. It is definitely possible to get lost in Paris due to the number of streets. To be precise, there are 6,100 streets in the whole of Paris. There are more dogs than children in the city. Yep, you heard me right. There are more than 300,000 dogs in Paris. And that means that there is one dog for every two children. There are 37,915 restaurants throughout the city and 94 of these capitalist restaurants have at least one Michelin star. There are virtually very few tall buildings unlike other cities across the world. This is because in Paris there are strict restrictions on the maximum height and number of floors a building can have. At the same time, the French government prefers to keep older buildings intact by repairing and renovating them instead of demolishing them. As a result, there are hardly any skyscrapers in the city. 
one of the most expensive football clubs in the world is based in Paris. Paris Saint-Germain, also known as PSG, is a Paris-based professional football team established in 1970 and is constantly ranked amongst the most popular clubs in France and across the globe. Hello guys, and today I am going on a trip to the city of Laugh, Paris. I'm off to Paris today. Um, I am here at Gatwick Airport, and then I'll be travelling on Southern up to London, Victoria. And then I'll be travelling on a 10-hour flips bus from London, Victoria, coach station, all the way to Paris, Bercy Seine, uh, via the p and Ferry Crossing. Uh, the ferry's about an hour and a half, uh, but yeah, it's a 10-hour total journey by coach all the way from London to Paris. Once I get to Paris, I shall be returning via EasyJet. I'll be getting the Metro from Bercy Saint all the way to Charles de Gaulle, the main airport in Paris. And then from Paris, getting the EasyJet all the way back to London Gatwick, which is where my car is. Anyway, I shall get back to you up in London, but that is my plan for today. And I'm looking forward to it. See you later. I'm a traveling spirit. I've seen many shores. From the West Pacific to the island of Kenya They treat me like a son anywhere I go And even though no one can tell I still feel that I'm alone I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone Leave me stranded, I know how to handle it all I have learned that no one else can carry this load It's a train where I'm the only passenger on board Oh, there is beauty to enjoy on this road But even so, I still feel that I'm alone I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone Leave me stranded, I know how to handle it all on my own I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone Leave me stranded, I know how To handle it all on my own So I've made it into central London. I'm currently outside Victoria Coach Station here. Um, I've got about now and 10 minutes now to uh, the Flips bus number 700, which will take me from here in central London at Victoria. Um, I've got down to Dover uh, in Kent, the south coast of England, and then across via p and ferries. Um, arriving into Calais about 3 o'clock this afternoon, uh, local time. And it's a three hour journey from Calais up into the centre of Paris up at Bercy Seine bus station. And once there, um, if on time, uh, I've got three hours from my flight departs from the airport, and it's about an, an hour journey across from the bus station to the airport by metro. Um, but yeah, so I've got about an hour here to wait, uh, and then I'll be on my 10 hour coach journey. I'll join you at some point later on. Small city thinking, I 
I'm now on board Pino Spirit of France Ferry. Um, I'm going now. We're about to leave in about five minutes, heading into Calais. It's well, the captain says it's going to be a comfortable crossing, so hopefully it will be a comfortable crossing. Uh, well, the sea conditions look fine to me from here, but obviously I'm not an expert on that. Uh, so um, yeah, the flitz bus has been fine. Took we nearly missed the ferry though. Took ages to get in to the port security checks and what have you. Um, yeah, and I'll enjoy my hour and a half crossing now over to France. And I shall join you from mainland Europe. I'll try so hard to fade away. We're just pulled into Calais now, and it's a three hour coach ride from here in Calais up to the centre of Paris, Bercy Seine bus station. So, um, actually, being over here, it's, it's got a little bit better. It's after, as you probably all know, uh, it made news uh, because it's had a lot of British workers uh, and they replaced it with cheap foreign labour. Um, and they scrapped all their food offerings, all cold foods, stuff like that. Right, this time I've been on them for quite a bit of time. And they've actually got fish and chips and other uh, stuff like chicken nuggets. Um, okay, it's not freshly made, it's been made and put into boxes and then kept warm. But at least they've got an offering, I suppose. But yes, uh, anyway, I shall see you when I get to Paris at the other end. And hello from France, uh, the centre of Paris, the capital. Uh, we arrived about half an hour late into uh, Bercy Seine bus station. We came across about two or three accidents uh, just outside Paris, uh, unfortunately. We just held us up for quite a bit. Um, so we're running about half an hour late, but no panic. We should still make the train to Metro once quite regularly. So now I'm off to Metro station. Um, 
Yeah, it's an eight minute walk now from here at Bursty Sane bus station to the metro. Uh, so let's see uh, how all this goes, shall we? At least I've made it this far and the coach wasn't that late. You know, the ferry was on time and stuff like that. Anyway, I'll show get back to you when I get to the airport. Degrees and sunny, just the way I always wanted. Tall but I got to observe. Just on the outskirts of Paris, this is the main airport that serves the city. It's one of the busiest airports. It's got so many different terminals. It is unbelievable. Um, it's easy to get lost. I'm still walking to my terminal ten minutes later. This is how big the airport is. Um, so I arrived. It's eight o'clock. Uh, flight departs at ten o'clock. Wise back into London Gatwick at five past ten local time. Seems like it's a five minute flight, but it's about an hour and five minutes. Um, yeah, so I'm currently on the way to Terminal, find that, and then relax after a long day. I think this is the quickest I've ever been uh, to, in and out of a city. Literally popped into Paris and popped back out again. Uh, not saw the sights like I normally do in Paris. Uh, but anyhow, uh, I shall get back to you back from the UK, and I hope you enjoy seeing my video. <laughs> Now, I hope you enjoyed seeing my long trip by coach to the French capital. Let's see how much this trip cost me now, shall we? The Flitz bus from London all the way to Paris costing me £74.58 and pence, or €86.71. And cents. Food and drink whilst in the UK, which was really only breakfast at the coach station, costed me £5.95 and pence, or €6.92. Food and drink whilst on P&O ferries costed me £19.18 or €22.30. Food and drink whilst in France for the short while costed me £9.89 or €11.50. The metro from the centre of Paris to Charles de Gaulle Airport costed me £9.85 or €11.45. And finally, the runway flight from Paris to London booked through eDreams costed me a total of £106.27 or €123.56. So, the grand total of this trip came to £225.72, or in euros that equates to €262.44. 
The flight at the end really brought the grand total up. So not including this flight, this trip was actually pretty cheap and well priced. I hope you enjoyed seeing this video and I hope to see you in another video in the very near future. Happy travelings. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. Until next time, good night. Thank you.